it's been my dream for like eight years to no longer wear any industrial clothing. So nothing that's made in a factory, no plastic clothing, no logos, no brands. And uh, one year ago, I broke free from my last piece of plastic clothing, which was a pair of shorts. And my friend's son gave me a pair of linen shorts, but those were still industrial. And so as of one year ago, I broke free from all industrial clothing. And then this is 100% homemade, homemade. So my friend uh, Abby sewed the shirt and the shorts. It's, lin it's linen. And then I dyed these shorts with black walnut. And I dyed the shirt with indigo and weld. I'm trying to make green, but haven't gotten there yet. So I'm 37 years old and up till right now I've made all of, we've made, so as of a couple weeks, as of a couple days ago, really, I finished dyeing the last item and now have my full 100% homegrown, or sorry, homemade, natural fiber and naturally dyed clothes. And so... These two sweaters are my last two items that were industrial clothing. So these are the last two items of industrial clothing that I own. And, you know, this one is, they're both wool, so they're natural fibers. So they could both return to the earth. This one I actually dyed with black walnut, um, from black walnuts from my mom's house. And... So I feel a connection to them. This one I actually sewed with sinew to like sew it back up, deer sinew. So I certainly have a connection to these, but they are indeed industrial. Brands created these, they were monetized clothes. And my mission, one of my missions is to exist in clothes that are completely from the earth and will return to the earth. The basic concept being that I could walk into the woods and die and whatever I'm wearing could return to the earth on me without littering and just my whole being returned to the earth. So it's a part of the concept of impermanence, really. Like, what clothes are the most impermanent clothes that I could be wearing? And I still have further to go because although this is natural fiber, naturally dyed and homemade, the fabric itself was still made with industry. And so eventually my plan is to raise my clothes from either seed or animal, whether it's linen to make flax, cotton, uh, or hemp, but largely wool through raising sheep. So eventually I'm going to raise my fibers and do start to finish and everything that I will own, I will have that full connection to including the plant dyes. But for now, this is a chapter of breaking free from industrial clothes. And these are the last two items of industrial clothes. So what I'd like to do is gift this, gift these. And there's five of us here, so I don't know who to gift them to. <laughs> if there was two of us, it'd be easy. So to me, it's like, do these call. To, to any of you as something that you would love to wear and would bring you great meaning and whoever feels that I would love to I would love to share these and I'd love to, love to gift them with, with anybody that would feel like a real meaning and connection you look like you'd like one yeah alright so which one would you like which one calls to you um I think Oh, I think this one, I think this one's for you. Let's see you put it on. I, I think this one is going to be... Let's see. This has kept me warm for about the last five or six months. Oh, it looks... I love it! Oh my god! Yeah! I love it. Yes! Good to see you. All right, so I don't know who's feeling who's feeling the green. I'm kind of feeling the. 
it's you. And I think, because, you know, you got the green going yeah. on and... Oh, yeah! I was kind of feeling like... Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> so, yeah. So this was a uh, this was a uh, organic moment in the sense that I've been wanting to break free for a long time, and I shared with them we, we had a gathering tonight, and I shared with them, hey. I'm interested in uh, another step of liberation, and what do you all think about me filming it? And they said, yeah, let's do that. So it's an interesting moment. It's, you know, it's a little interesting because it's like the most beautiful thing in a way to do would be to not film this at all. But I wanted to bring all of you on the journey uh, that follow me online and who will see this as a an inspiration in your journey of breaking free from consumerism and materialism and our clothes are just one of the ways in which we are trapped in the materialism and consumerism cycles and uh, it's not about having to go this far necessarily I felt great in these clothes I love them natural so if you know if we're if we're not going to this level breaking free from plastic clothing breaking free from any corporation that is pillaging the earth to put the clothes on our body and so polyester and nylon generally that means that the earth has been pillaged through the extraction of fossil fuels so natural fibers and and, and even another step is there's something called a fiber shed like we have a, a watershed well a fiber shed is getting your clothes from within your region a fiber shed there's actually a book called fiber shed and the website is fiber shed so there's so much that we can do you know buying our clothes secondhand is something that we can do there's no reason why we ever have to buy a new item of clothing again and that's accessible to most of us so there's so much that we can do it doesn't have to be this level but if you want to take it to this level Awesome. You know, I will say, this level feels pretty good. <laughs> so I love you all. I'm glad to have spent this time uh, in this moment with you, even though you're on devices around the world, but we are here together in heart. Anything any of you want to say to the, to the people out there? It was a nice uh, experience. Like, uh, <laughs> we are very much connected, so thanks. Nice. All right, we love you.